Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Holly Lenora or Holly Jolly. Today's video, we are doing the best of 2020. I am so excited. I have so many products in front of me. I thought this video would be pretty simple to make, um, but then the more I sorted through my makeup, I was like, oh, I love this one and this one, and, and it just got way out of hand. So I've narrowed it down. Uh, I will talk through these quickly so I don't make this video too crazy long. And some of the products I was researching and trying to find the release date because this year has been such a blur for me and I'm sure for you too that I was like, when, when did I get this? When did this come out? So I'm not 100% sure that everything was released exactly in 2020 and I'm, please forgive me if it was, you know, 2019. So sorry. Let's get into this video. If you are new, thanks so much for clicking on me. I would love it if you would join my beauty YouTube family and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up so that you always know the best of beauty from 2020 as if you need, you know, makeup to remember this year. Okay, first things first, let's go into the primers. This, by the way, is all higher end stuff or like Sephora more expensive stuff. If you are interested in a best of beauty drugstore edition and best of Judy, Judy, best of beauty skincare edition, let me know in the comments down below. I will do my best to fulfill your requests. First up primer, the Tatcha liquid silk canvas primer. This product is beautiful. I am telling you, if you want that natural, everyday, beautiful glow, glow from within for your skin, this is the stuff for you. It is beautiful, it is pore filling. It does have a scent, some people just don't mess with things that, that are scented. The scent doesn't bother me, it's pretty light, smells really fresh. This stuff makes your skin feel like a baby's bottom. It is beautiful, I highly recommend this. Well, every product in front of me I highly recommend, but this, I am in love with it. I first used the Tatcha Silk Canvas the first primer they came out with, the putty primer. I really love that one too. The only reason this is beating it is because this one is easier access. You just pump it out as opposed to getting the little scoop or I mean, I guess you could use your finger, but the little scoop and then spreading it. And yeah, this just weighs that out by just like barely. This is a beautiful product. Next primer is going to be the Plump and Prime from Too Faced. This primer is absolutely gorgeous. It, just like it says on the bottle, luxury. It makes your skin just, it blurs it out. It makes it so smooth. It gives it this light luminosity, a little more than the Tatcha primer. So if you're looking for that glam glow without doing excessive highlighting or whatever, this primer is gonna be your best friend. Last primer that made my top beauty of 2020 is going to be the Leveler from Beauty Blender. This primer, has saved me. I, oh, my pores. They're not huge, but there are certain products, of course, that I love that kind of enhance the appearance of my pores. I'm really porous on my upper lip for some odd reason, random spot, I know. But my boyfriend can very easily and very quickly point out that foundation makes your pores look larger than they are. That foundation makes your pores stand out. And ever since I started wearing this, I'm telling you, I haven't heard it since. So thank you, Beauty Blender. I'm telling you, it, it just, it fills in your pores and it's lightly tinted so it blurs everything out. Your skin truly looks flawless and airbrushed. It, I mean, it's just fabulous. I could go on and on, but we got lots of products to go through. So boom, highly recommend. I really think this is like my number one out of all three that I just showed this it's beautiful. Foundations. It's been a great year for foundations in my opinion. All of this is in my opinion, just to disclaim. I've actually got five foundations in front of me. Three are kind of glam, fuller coverage, and then I've got two skin tints. I will just bust out the skin tints right now. This is the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint, and this is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. Both of these are beautiful. Both of these are different price points. 
I love skin tints. If I'm not in front of a camera, if it's just everyday wear, a skin tint, they're my best friends. BFFs for life. This is what I normally wear just on a day-to-day -day basis. Unless I'm at work, then I wear nothing on my skin. <laughs> You can literally take the dropper from both of these, drop them on your skin. You can use your fingers to blend it out. You can use your beauty blender, brush, and you really can't tell the difference because they both just absolutely just melt into your skin and they both give very skin-like finishes, undetectable, you know, is she wearing foundation or does her skin look just that good? That's this. Both of these right here are beautiful. My absolute number one that has been my number one for a few years now is the Paracomb MD, but that was released, you know, back in normal good old days. So that's why she isn't in front of me, in front of the camera right now, but that's my number one. These two that are recent releases, they're super, super close. They're flawless. They're beautiful. Highly, highly recommend. On the more glam side of foundations, the Too Faced Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage this foundation is not a skin tint, but could pass for a skin tint. When it says undetectable, it means it. It's beautiful. I think it's, is it 24 hour wear? This is a beautiful 24 hour wear for those of you who wear foundation for 24 hours. This is for you. It is so stunning, melts into your skin, does a fabulous job covering under eye discoloration, discoloration around your nose. Well, I have that, don't know about you. But this is super beautiful. If you have acne scarring, discoloration, whatever the problem may be, but you still want to look natural and glowy and dewy without all the makeup, all the super, super full coverage, this stuff is the stuff for you. Too Faced, undetectable. Born this way. Next foundation that I have fallen in love with from 2020 is going to be from Rare Beauty. This is their, what is it? Hold please. This is their Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. And when they say weightless, they mean weightless. I have this on right now. Mine is in the shade 230N. And this gives the appearance of an airbrushed look like no other. I mean, just flawless, super lightweight. And another plus about this one is it plays well with others. You, There are some foundations or some products in makeup in general that just don't play well with others. It looks beautiful and then you put something on top or you have something underneath and they just don't mesh well. This bad boy really plays well with others. I really, really think Rare Beauty, the whole line in general, killed it. Selena Gomez has done something major. Her whole line is just fabulous. I have a couple products from her in front of me for this video. Last foundation is going to be the NARS Soft Matte. Oh, that is dirty. I am so sorry. So embarrassing. <laughs> the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. This is a full coverage. When they say full coverage, they mean full coverage. This get the right shade or you might be in a little bit of trouble. It is beautiful. It is, I don't want to use the word thick, but like when you're applying it, you can see that this is straight paint. It stays on. It covers your blemishes, your discoloration, anything that you need covered. This stuff will do it. It will handle it. It's beautiful though. It doesn't look like your hat you have on a lot of makeup. It really does have a natural finish. And that's one of my number ones when I am analyzing a foundation is does this look natural? Yes, it does. Concealer. I have two concealers for this year. Here we are again with Rare Beauty. This is my number one because it blends like a dream. It is flawless. I mean, and it doesn't take any effort to blend it out whatsoever. It just melts into whatever foundation you're wearing. It doesn't even have to be with the Rare Beauty foundation. I love this stuff. It sets well with powder. Rare Beauty, once again, killed it. This concealer is beautiful. And another fun tip, her concealer and foundation, she made the foundation and then she went ahead and matched the concealer to the foundation. So both of these are 230 in. So that takes out hunting for a concealer shade that is two shades lighter because she's already done that for you. Next concealer, 
Pat McGrath. I, I really believe this was a 2019 and I apologize about that, but I have constantly, constantly, constantly reached for this concealer. It is beautiful. It is on the higher end of the price scale, but it is very much worth the money. Melts into your skin like butter. It does great. I have two shades. I have LM11 and LM10. The packaging is beautiful. That is glass. Don't drop them. Very lightweight. Transfer proof. I'm telling you, this concealer, she did something with these. They're beautiful. Jeez, I need to move faster because this video is going to be super long. No, it's not. No, it's not. Next, moving right along into bronzers. I've got three in front of me. The first one I've been talking about, if you have been watching me, you probably could already guess it. This is the Gucci bronzer. She is beautiful. She is bougie. I have been wearing her nonstop. I have her on my face right now. This is what she looks like. She has a little bit of shimmer in there. Certainly not matte, but it goes on your face like a dream, blends like a dream. If you're afraid of using bronzers, this is the bronzer that you should get because it is so easy to handle. And I really think you'll be impressed with just how beautifully everything comes together with this bronzer. Next bronzer, I feel like this bronzer got slept on. This is from Ilia, and this is the Nightlight Bronzing Powder. I think the color of this bronzer is beautiful. It works beautifully for me. It is very, very pigmented, but once again, the color works really well with my skin. So if I did kind of put too much on, you can't really tell because the color matches perfectly. I use this a lot in the summertime for those natural contoured bronzy looks. Easy to apply and it gives you that natural contour instead of being so sucked in. Next bronzer that made the list is from Fenty Beauty. Hey, this is their cream bronzer. I love this one. This is in the shade Macchiato and I love this cream bronzer because literally Put your skin tint on or put, you know, whatever base you're using on. Use your fingers and just pat it out and you're good to go. This is quick, easy to apply. There is no patchiness, no cakiness. I mean, it just goes on so smooth and you can be quick about it and still look like a boss. Okay, now let's move on to blush. I absolutely love blush. I had the hardest time narrowing this stuff down. You have no idea. Oh my gosh. I was like... Can I phone a friend? No. Okay, for blush, um, I have fallen in love with Patrick Ta and his products. He is really killing it. These blushes are to die for. They are beautiful. Good job, Patrick Ta. Oh, that has a ring to it. Okay, anyways, I have three of these bad boys. A, just look at the packaging. Only thing I don't like about these packaging is that, of course, you can see, like, fingerprints everywhere. This one right here is, ooh, she's different, or oh, she's different. And then this one right here is, she's that girl. Both the cream and the powder are absolutely stunning. They go on like a dream. As you can tell through this video, I love things that go on with ease and still give you that beautiful, I took three hours to do my makeup, flawless look. You can use these, they play well with others and they play well with each other. So you can start your base by using the cream blush, pat that on and then you can go over top of it with the powder and it doesn't cake up, it doesn't look skippy or patchy or anything. And the pigment in these blushes are absolutely, I mean, look at that. See, you can throw this on the bottom and give yourself that highlighted glowy dewy look and then throw the powder on top to kind of calm it down. These products are beautiful. And then we have this one. This is She's So LA, and it is just this brown, beautiful color. I'll be honest, I use this all the time to contour, whether it's a teeny tiny little brush and I'm contouring my nose, or a bigger brush and I'm throwing a contour on my face. This brown is beautiful and once again, blends like a dream, is stunning, pairs well with fairly light skin if you're using it to bronze or contour. I mean, it's just... It's so beautiful. He did a really, really good job on these blushes. I hope he comes out with more. <laughs> Next blush, this is from Fenty Beauty. Mine is in the shade Petal Poppin. This is a cream blush. It is absolutely beautiful. It gives you really that baby pink look, that kind of cute. <laughs> I don't know anybody that does that, but you know what I mean. That baby pink, like, oh, she's so cute. 
gives you that look in seconds. It is so beautiful. Stick your finger in there, pat, pat, pat on your cheeks, and you are good to go. The pigment is crazy good. A little bit goes a long way, which is good because this is, as you can see, a fairly smaller compact. Uh, I don't mind though because a little bit goes a long way, so this will last you a good amount of time. Next up, and I have to say is probably my number one. Yeah, I'm going to give it to it. My number one. These are the Lawless blushes, and by gosh, by golly, they are absolutely beautiful. I have two shades here. This one is Vintage Love. This guy is a matte blush, and it gives you a very, very soft look. So on those natural days, or if you want to look like naturally glam, this blush is your girl. It is beautiful, no shimmer, it is matte. The pigment is amazing. You can tell I like pigment. And then the next shade I have is Sakura, Sakura. And it is, once again, that baby pink that is absolutely stunning. This guy has shimmer in it. So when the light hits it, you will get a glow. But as you can see, I mean, pigment like crazy. These foundations, these blushes are both talc free. The whole collection is talc free. I would have more, but every time I go on there, it's sold out. Leave some for the rest of us. But I do have the Sakura on my cheeks right now and you can see when the light hits it, there's just that glow, that beam, and it's beautiful. Next up, I'm gonna jump into eyeshadow palettes. I only have two. That's not because there's only two good palettes. That's just because I could go on about palettes forever. So I just had to go ahead and pick two. Number one, the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. This is a beautiful palette because it's versatile. If you want to do glam, here's your girl. If you want to do every day, here's your girl. I mean, you can just do so much with this palette. The colors are stunning. You can head to this corner and do kind of a smoky eye look. You can stick with soft mattes. You can do a shimmer ombre. I mean, there's so much you can do with this palette and this formula, she killed it. Blendable, easy to apply, highly pigmented. This palette is bomb and the next palette is a little more inexpensive. This I have been talking about a lot lately. This is the Madison Beer palette, Madison Beer with Morphe. These are the colors that you get with this palette. Once again, very versatile. You can you can really glam it up. There are the shimmery shades here. You could smoke it out and you can also do kind of everyday looks with this bad boy. And I've got to say my favorite thing about this palette is the fact that it's affordable and beautiful. Two in one. This one is a banger. Very quickly, I wanted to do eyeliner to show you my favorites. I've got two liquids and then one gel. This is from One Size Beauty. This is Patrick Starr's brand. And if you want that smoky, smudgy eyeliner look, this stuff is your best friend. It is beautiful. It blends easily, blends like a dream, I tell you, a dream. And it goes on super, super easy. I mean, it melts on your skin like butter. How many times am I gonna say butter in this video? Next eyeliner, we have Rare Beauty again. If you want a beautiful winged liner, this is your stuff. From big dramatic wings to small, just barely there, little baby wings. The brush is so precise, the precision is there. It is a jet black formula, goes on so easily. I love that it actually looks like a marker. Like that's just, it's so precise. Once again, Rare Beauty really, really killed it. And I've got to say, of course you probably already know it, Lily Lashes Power Liner. I have fallen in love with this liner from making applying lashes super, super easy and super, super quick to finding a new way to make glitter eyeliner. If you haven't checked out that video, go ahead, check it out. Well, after this one, of course. But another thing that I have noticed is this stuff will last you for so long. I have used it so many times for so many different things and it's still going strong and when it goes out, you bet your bottom dollar, I'm gonna have me another one. I am so grateful that I found this liner. And for highlighters or for if you want a nice glow on your face, the Dior Face Glow 
palette. This is so beautiful. I have talked about this so much recently. Um, I actually just got it and have fallen in love with it. The pigmentation, the shimmer, the shine, the beam that you get from this palette. It is absolutely just beautiful. I cannot get enough. And even though it says a face glow palette, I mean, we can take this brown color right here, put it on our lids and call it a day. This palette is so worth it. It is so beautiful. I am obsessed. Good job, Dior. Okay, we are going to do lips and setting spray and call it a day because I just don't want this video crazy long. For lips, okay, so sorry, Rare Beauty again. These lip products are so creamy and so pigmented at the same time. I've dealt with quite a lot of lip products with a lot of pigment. So like if you're doing a deep, deep purple or a fire engine red, you want that pigment and you want it to stay put. These give you that without that sticky matte, kind of dry feeling. These keep your lips hydrated and moisturized. They last so, so long. Of course, if you're eating and drinking, you may want to keep it in your pocketbook to reapply after you're done. But if you're just talking or, I don't know, doing a photo shoot or something, these stay and they keep your lips hydrated. I absolutely love these products. Next up, we have Anastasia Beverly Hills. This has made it to the list. Number one reason is because I found these at TJ Maxx for $6.99 a pop when you can buy them at Ulta or Sephora for $20. Oh my gosh so I don't know about your TJ Maxx or Marshalls or wherever but go and look and see if you can find these on sale they are absolutely beautiful products I love the color story that they gave us I love the nudes the nudes and the deep rich browns I have the shades naked malt and starfish I wear these almost on the daily if I am not at work. These are my go-tos if I don't want to think about it and I just want to put on some makeup and feel a little cuter. These guys are perfect and they're great to mix together and do that ombre lip. I love this collection. Next up, this is my favorite line of lipsticks. I love a good nude. Oh, and I love a creamy, soft, sultry lip. Natasha Denona, I need a nude. The whole freaking collection. I mean, they are so beautiful, so creamy in texture. I mean, it's like it's there's butter on your lips. No joke. I'm obsessed with this collection. They are beautiful. They feel luxurious. They're weighted. I mean, they are all so stunning. These, of course, aren't all of the ones that I have. They're just all that I could fit in my hand without potentially dropping them but they just give the perfect amount of shine, not too shiny, not too glossy, and they're not sticky. Like I said, buttery, creamy, worth every penny. I love this collection. And I need to give an honorable mention to the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color. This collection is beautiful as well. There's a whole different variety of colors to choose from, from Fire Engine Red to the nudes that you're looking for. This collection is highly pigmented. I don't, I didn't mention it first because I'm not sure when this was released, um, but it's something that I continuously grab for. I am wearing it right now. And as I've talked, it has stayed put. My lips do feel dry, not dry as in they're starting to crack and I need chapstick, but just dry from the lipstick being dried down. These stay put, don't care who you are. They're beautiful, the pigment's there, worth every penny. I love a good matte liquid lip and this is it. Okay, let's round this thing up. We are coming to an end. Setting spray. This bad boy takes the cake. I am beyond happy that she came out with this setting spray. Sorry, this light keeps going on and off. My mirrors, it senses my motion and it lights up. Anyways, this setting spray is absolutely beautiful. I don't care if you're wearing a full face of drugstore or a full face of high-end products. This will ensure that your makeup is going to stay put all the live long day, okay? Okay, I had the mini, used it up. Now I have the full size. And I will continue to use this, continue to repurchase. It is a flawless product. Good job, Charlotte Tilbury. 
Okay, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching me today on the best of 2020. What was that? I don't know. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out with me today. It's always fun to hang out with you guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, join my family, ring the bell, hit that thumbs up button, and also have a wonderful holiday season. Have a happy, happy Christmas. You guys are truly my rock stars, and I appreciate you so much, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.